four and to New York City now, which you are taking a live look at this morning. Today marks day four of former President Trump's criminal trial. As of right now, 12 jury members are seated along with one alternate. Lawyers on both sides are moving at a faster pace than expected with the trial set to last more than a month. This morning, as Jared Hill reports, they need to pick just five more alternates. A jury of seven men and five women has been chosen to decide the fate of former President Donald Trump in his Manhattan criminal trial, though not without a little courtroom drama. Judge Juan Rashan excused one previously seated juror, a nurse, who said she could no longer be impartial, adding, quote, aspects of my identity have already been out there in public. The judge also dismissed juror number four after it emerged that someone with the same name was once arrested for allegedly ripping down conservative political posters, according to prosecutors. You don't want to go through six weeks and all the expense of this and then have a problem with a juror that can cause a mistrial. The judge has now ordered members of the press not to report on the physical appearance of the jurors. The whole world is watching this New York scam. Outside of the courtroom Thursday, Trump showed off a stack of favorable news headlines while railing against the judge, the Manhattan DA, and the proceedings. It's a shame. And I'm sitting here for days now, from morning till night, in that freezing room, freezing. Prosecutors claim Trump has violated the judge's gag order more than seven times, pointing to his social media posts. The judge will hear arguments on that next week. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York.